What is going on guys? How are you doing today, man? So I'm gonna be talking about five habits that most millionaires possess. Five habits that most people that are financially free, most people that are financially successful possess. All they, they all have this in common, right? Now, what is it? Now, before I start this video, I'm gonna say, man, ignore this baggy shirt, man. I know it's a little bit baggy, but under this shirt, there are a lot of muscles. One day you might see them. If you want to watch my other videos, you might see them. I'm just saying. But right now you can't see them because I'm wearing a baggy shirt. But anyway, man, so let's get into the video. Number one, the first habit is the habit of self-confidence, man. Have you ever seen, aside from like fucking Bill Gates or Elon Musk or whatever, these guys are a little more quiet softly spoken and whatever but for the most for the most part man i'm thinking like majority not the minority the majority of people that are financially free that are very successful especially as a man the most people that are you know uh if millionaires billionaires whatever they are very confident they are very outspoken they're loud they uh, have good uh, body language they just know how to articulate themselves and they are very confident they are very 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 confident man have you ever seen someone like imagine someone that's like timid and shy trying to become a millionaire or become financially free it's just gonna not gonna happen people are just gonna laugh at them and not take them seriously and it's just not gonna happen right so this is the number one trait personality trait or habit or whatever you want to call it man that successful and millionaire people have in common right now number two <laughs> number two let's go yo yo number two is the habit or the personality trait of discipline now, most people, man, that have made it prior to making it, they obviously, and obviously after they make it too, they need to have a lot of discipline, a lot of discipline to stay away from wasting their time, from, you know, consuming alcohol and drugs. You can't become a billionaire or a millionaire if you take drugs, right? You can't become that if you drink alcohol every single day, man, and you, you just smoke pot. How are you gonna do that, man? Yeah, there are some exception, exceptions like uh, Seth Rogen, the actor. He's a very successful actor and director. Uh, Snoop Dogg. There are a lot of people that do take marijuana and become successful, but I'm not telling you to do that, man. I'm just telling you that that's what is out there right now, as of 2024. So stay away from drugs, right? Okay. Hit the thumbs up if you agree. Kids, don't do drugs. Do water instead and do the gym. Go to the gym instead, man. Okay. And um, let's see, let's see. What, what am I at, two? I'm at a number two or three, guys, huh? What? <laughs> I think I'm at number two. I think so, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, did I say number two or not yet? Holy shit, I'm losing my mind today. Uh, okay, let's go, number three. I did, I did say number two, all right. Number three, number three is the habit of, I should have wrote these down, but I just thought about them right now in my car. Uh, the third habit is the habit of having an organized brain, having an organized mind. What do I mean by that? So what do I mean by that is, if your mind is like organized, you kind of like have a, everything in place. Maybe your car is organized, your house is organized, your bedroom, everything has its own place, its own little place. You give me? Your bed is organized and you always make your bed in the morning kind of thing. And you know, you're just very uh, symmetrical. Symmetrical, you know, if, if, if you're that person, man, you're more likely to become successful. This is a habit that I assume, and I'm gonna pretty confidently say and assume that they, most millionaires have that habit, right? Because can you imagine a millionaire that just lives in a room that's unorganized and, you know, just a car that's unorganized and stuff like that? I can't imagine it. But um, yeah, so if you are that person, man, you're more likely to become a, a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire. 
gazillion air. Right, so that's the third habit, is just to be clean and organized. Excuse me, right? Um, right? Right or wrong? Tell me. All right, now number four is the habit of waking up early. We all hear it, man. Mr. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, man, he'd be waking up at like 4.52 every morning. Eats his like eight stacks of pancakes <laughs> with eggs or whatever, whatever it is. I don't know. Really. And you know, just does skull crushes and just flies. We all know this, right? And what is he? A millionaire. So it works. It works, man. He got the receipts. It does work. It does work, man. Okay? Um, so wake up early, man. If you have a daily habit of just getting up early, you may, hey, listen, listen to me, man. All right, so the hours between 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. is like your golden time. This is the golden hours, man, of you getting your shit together from 4 in the morning to 8 in the morning, man. These are, these are the hours you gotta be dedicating towards your business, towards your side hustle, your, you know, your, 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 your whatever it is that you wanna do to become a millionaire. Whatever it is, man. Whatever value you want to give, do it during this time. Why? Why should I do it during this time? I'll tell you why, man. Because during this time, everyone else is sleeping. They're all sleeping. Everybody. During this time, they're sleeping. What are you doing? Not sleeping? You're working on your stuff, man. You're making some money. You're getting the bag. You're getting after it during this time, right? So implement this time to do what you gotta do to become what you wanna become, right? So um, easy, it's pretty simple. Did I say five already or did I say four? I don't know, I really don't know how many I said. Um, number five, I'm gonna say for number five anyway. I think I did say five, but I'm gonna say another one. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, number five is the habit of, are you ready? Drum roll. The habit of being lonely. Yeah, I said it, man. I said it. The habit of being lonely. While making connections, obviously, but what, I mean, what do I mean when I say being lonely? The habit of not necessarily needing to just go with friends and hang out at a club every day or every weekend and wasting your time. I guess what I'm saying is just the habit of taking your time seriously and realizing where you're spending it. Realizing how you're and where you're spending your time, right? So if you have this habit, man, I'd like to congratulate you because you are on your way to become a millionaire. So we live in a world where people don't understand and don't realize the value of their time. They don't realize that every minute is so valuable. Every hour of the day is so valuable. Every day is so valuable. You can get so much done in one day. Did you realize that? You can get so many things done in one day. Only if you learn how to uh, you know, have a routine and, and, and have a schedule and time management and know how to do things the right way in an efficient manner. If you learn how to do this, man, you can do so many things in one single day. And imagine doing that every day for years. Come on, man. You already know what's gonna happen. You are gonna become successful. So start taking your time seriously, man. Don't be spending it with people. Plus, let me tell you something, man. If you have friends right now that are telling you that it is okay, or even worse, better yet, shaming you for not wanting to go clubbing with them and not wanting to go waste your time and chase women at the local mall, 
If you have friends like that, delete their number right now, bro. We're literally right now. Pause the video and delete their number right now because they don't care about their own life and they also don't care about you improving your own life, your life. So they don't care about you, man. And they don't care about their own life because they should be too busy working on their business, working on their side hustle, working on their life purpose. How do they have the time to do all that? How? How? It's only 24 hours in a day, eight hours at work, two hours at the gym. You sleep seven, eight hours, whatever. You're eating food. All that other time you gotta be dedicating towards your business, towards your life purpose, man. How do you expect something to happen? How do you, how do you expect to see the ball rolling? How do, you, how do you expect to see any momentum, any progress if you don't have momentum? You're just not going to. So yeah, if you have friends like them, and just immediately just like stop hanging out with them, man. You don't gotta cut them out cold turkey like that and actually delete their number, but just tell them, hey, my bad, bro. I just can't be hanging out with you right now. Right now in my life, I'm in the phase where I'm locked in, man. I'm locked in, I gotta, I got bigger things, I got, I gotta improve my life. I don't wanna fail, I don't want you to fail. So we should be busy. Tell them that, man. And if they don't respect it, man, then just cut them off. So that's, that's it for the video. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.